my name's Andrew Finlay and we're uh, on Pike Street Orchard in southern Queensland, not far from the New South Wales border. Farming for me is, is family tradition. I'm probably third generation in this area, but my brother and I are here doing what we've grown up doing as kids and doing what we both love. Graham and I bought this farm just over 40 years ago. When we bought it, it was just run for sheep and cattle. It was a grazing property. So we planted a few trees in 1983 to see what they would do and, and uh, grew some fruit that was, uh, that was okay and, and it's grown from there. Most people probably don't know, when you look at a, a, a fruit tree at flowering time, after it finishes flowering, there could be a thousand pieces of fruit on the tree. If we leave them all on the tree, we'll have fruit the size of marbles. So we have to remove a whole lot of that fruit by hand and leaving the fruitlets that we want to then grow them out to be something that's big enough for us to be able to put into a box and send off to a supermarket to Woolies. Woolworths have been an important customer for us for a long time, 24 years or something I think, and a really important part of the retail landscape in Australia for a long, long time. They're just, like they're as Australian as Vegemite. For us, it's that relationship is very, very important often get feedback from, from all over the country, actually. I've got um, friends in Victoria who said they've gone into um, a Woolies in Shepparton and said, oh, you've got some of your fruit. It was amazing. We try really hard to, to pick it and present it and, and the best we can so that people are going to enjoy it. The fact that people are taking photos and sending back and saying, hey, Andrew, this looks great. That for us is really re rewarding. When you see you've grown something that's really pretty special. Last year, with the effects of the drought, we did not produce one box of nectarines, not one. Um, we had no water. As simple as that, we had to make some really tough decisions. We'd put um, a couple of small bores down, we had a dribble of water out of them, but this area's got not very little underground water, and so you know you've just, you've reached a point where it doesn't matter how good your knowledge is, how good, it, um, how hard you try, it's devastating, you know, and you look at things that you've put so much work into, and you just see them, and you're just sort of disappearing before your eyes. It's a tough pill to have to swallow, but what's happened has been beyond belief for us, that the trees could be so resilient, they could bounce back so, so quickly. The fact that Woolies are able to take it and get it out to people this year has been, it's been a real bonus for us, a real, it really has helped out. It's an amazing feeling to, to, to have a pick-me-up like that after such a tough, tough time, you know. That helps us with our returns, it, it helps us to start to get back and we're actually back up and we're running and that's a really great feeling.